Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. AIDS Help is one of the amazing organizations that we have here in the Keys. Now, they are coming off a very successful year in 2012. They have lots of big projects and events coming up in 2013. We'll be talking about one of their big events later on in today's show. But first, I want to show you a project that AIDS Help did last year. It was the I Am That Someone exhibit. This was a video and photo exhibition of testimonials from friends and families who lost someone to AIDS. It is very powerful, very compelling, and it expresses why it's so important to have an organization like AIDS Help right here in our community. I started showing. It became personal when my son told me he was gay. He was a senior in high school, and he was um, not coming home nights, and he was going out all the time, and I was just so scared for him. I was scared for him in many ways, not just because of the virus, because of other I was afraid for his life. When Joe, my son, um, went and got tested, I remember he came back to the hair salon that we worked at, and he walked in the back door. I was sitting behind the desk, there wasn't a soul in the salon, and he said, how are you going to handle this, Mom? He looked at me and he said, you have to take care of yourself if you're going to take care of me. People were stopped coming to him. We had a restaurant, people didn't want to come to the restaurant because he also cooked part-time, and there were people that stopped coming to the restaurant. People were scared, to be, his friends didn't come around. It was very hard for us to take care of him because we all had jobs. I still had my hair salon, my husband had a restaurant. We all worked. We uh, reached out into the community a little bit and we called some of the local churches. There was not, nobody to help us like we have here in Key West. Nothing. Sometimes he just needed someone to sit with him and read a book or listen to music or watch a movie. He didn't always need a lot, but he needed someone there. He used to come to the salon in his pajamas because he didn't want to stay home alone. It was so sad. I wrote his obituary that he died from the AIDS virus, and the newspaper called me and said, Mrs. Logston, can you change the wording? Nobody's ever died in Collier County from AIDS. I said, I'm not changing the wording. There were over 400 people that came to the church. The priest said he's never seen so many people in the church at one time. And it was like, where were you all when he needed you? When we came home from burying him, we, came, we buried him in New York, we came home and we just said, you know, we have to take what we learn and help people, helping people gets you through. So just have to help people so that they can live with dignity. I am Cheryl Ann and I am that someone. A lot of people were dying and that's how I became aware of it. Did you hear this person died? Did you hear that he died? And they were just dying rapidly. I mean like four and five or six, seven a week. One person told me a long time ago that you have to look at every person that you sleep with, that you go home with, as if they are positive. I didn't know what it was and I didn't want to put myself at risk in any way, shape or form by, you know, touching something that someone who had HIV had or swimming in the pool. It's embarrassing now to know what we know about the disease and know that it's not transmitted that way. I had a roommate uh, in, in graduate school um, who was a good friend of mine who was constantly getting sick, but I never knew what it was, and eventually I found out that he had HIV. He died shortly after that. Doing the drag thing, that was a good avenue for me to, to get on stage and to perform and to raise money. I think it's our duty and our responsibility to take care of these people who are sick. These programs need to be, have more money put into them instead of having, you know, some of these programs cut. I look at it sometimes as if I'm positive because I'm living what they're living. They just want somebody there that they know that cares about them. It's gonna be okay, it's not a death sentence, you're not gonna die, you're gonna, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna make it through this. I'm Terry and I am that someone. When I return from these messages, we'll talk more about AIDS Help and one of their upcoming events. Stay with me.